Hey guys, today is a very exciting day. Today is the day that I'm gonna be packing everything for our three month circumnavigation flight around the world. Me and JP, as you know, have a small plane. We're leaving from California next week and I have to get everything together. We have to pack super light, but also pack enough for three months to create a documentary, for me to do my vlogs, charge all my things, and uh, yeah, not overload the plane. So I'm gonna start off by showing you some things I've ordered the last couple of days, some last minute deliveries I've had. So it's gonna be a bit of a, an unboxing. And then I'm gonna lay out everything I'm taking on the trip and talk through each item. And I guess, um, yeah, this is things and knowledge I've acquired over a number of years of traveling. And I want to uh, show you guys what I found to be the best and most space productive and useful items and tech for traveling with, especially traveling uh, carry-on only, so I never check luggage. So it's gonna be all fit in a bag which I can take on as, as carry-on. So let's start by unboxing all of these things I've ordered the last couple of days and I'll talk you through them quickly. Oh, this is so exciting, honestly. Right, so number one. <laughs> number one, this is uh, a nose hair trimmer and uh, what I've tried to do with all my little items and tech is try and find USB chargeable stuff so I don't have to worry about AA batteries and rechargeable batteries everything can just plug in USB so if I'm correct uh, and have ordered correctly this is a USB chargeable there you go a USB chargeable uh, nose hair trimmer oh Conveniently, I've opened the second grooming product I've got. This is, uh, again, a USB chargeable, um, there you go, USB chargeable beard trimmer. So this can keep me looking presentable whilst we're traveling around the world. I won't come back with a big beard. By far, this is the most exciting thing I ordered, uh, but it is also the most expensive. I bought an external portable SSD drive, two terabytes. Guys, literally look how small this is. And the read write speed on this is just like, I guess like four times faster than, than the normal portable hard drives. Uh, but this literally has one USB-C input. And what the plan is, I bought a bit too much Velcro, but this is another thing I bought. I'm gonna Velcro this onto the back of my laptop. Uh, this is something I learned from Steve Booker, a little tip. And then this is what I'm gonna be running all of my video editing off because it's fast enough speeds to uh, edit 4K. Guys, I bought some of these the other day and then I thought me and JP probably need quite a few of these to charge batteries because we're both gonna have an A7S II and both gonna have an A7R II. So at any one time we are powering with the, uh, the same batteries. They all take the same batteries, these guys. So this is the most slim line charger I found for charging these batteries. Uh, and amazingly, when I bought this, so this is RAV, RAV Power. When I bought this, it comes with two additional RAV Power branded Sony batteries. Next up, uh, this is very handy, guys. This is an SD card case, and inside there's little slots for the micro SDs. So in total, uh, I can have 24 SD cards in here because I can have 12 micro SDs and 12 normal size SD cards. Right, this is the USB. 10 USB charging box. So this gives um, a 70 watt total power and can charge, can output each port at 2.4 amps. So these two ports are quick charge ports for charging quick charge compatible products. So I've got a couple of other small items. This is a pen screwdriver. So in the back, this screws off and there's some nice little screwdriver heads that come out uh, and then you can attach to the front. And they're just the micro ones you can use to fix little things that have broken. So one of the things we wanna try and do on the trip is live streams from our phone. Now I've ordered this amazing clip-on iPhone camera lens. Uh, I guess you can clip on any smartphone. It's actually a clip you can clip on the selfie cam so you can record your face. A lot of the high-end iPhone attachment lenses only clip on the back of the phone, which obviously is the better quality camera. And if you're just using it for photography and filming uh, normal shots, it's great. But I only really want a wider angle lens so we can do uh, kind of selfie 
um, live streams. So this is gonna be an incredible lens. Check this out. Obviously, I'm gonna be linking all of these products below in the description as Amazon affiliate links. You can click through to those and order them yourselves. Uh, I've spent quite a bit of time, like I said, traveling and learning what's best and what's useful. So hopefully some of these items will be great for you guys as well. Oh my gosh. Guys, have any of you seen this? This is a pocket printer and this is the little photo paper that comes with it. And what you can do is you can connect your phone to this little printer and print off photos whilst you're out and about. So I thought this would be an amazing way to connect with locals around the world from different cultures. We can do selfies, we can hang out with them and then then and there give them a little printout of what we've been up to. So this is a little bit like a Polaroid camera, but because you can print the photos from your phone, you can do a lot more with it. I think out of all of these latest things I've bought, this is the thing I'm most excited to try out. We're not gonna be on the plane the entire trip. We're gonna be uh, traveling around in each country and we may be traveling in vehicles, I'm sure, to get to some of the places we wanna interview people and see the local culture, we're gonna be in vehicles. So because we don't have any means of charging stuff on the plane other than battery banks that we bring with us, we're gonna be pretty desperate when we land to charge things up. So when we jump in taxis or rental cars, this is a way for me to plug my laptop straight in. So this is a normal cigarette lighter power adapter, but instead of just USBs, it has another output as well, which clicks in there. And then this gives you a USB-C output at 90 watts. So this will charge up my laptop. Honestly, it feels like Christmas right now. I'm so excited. Guys, I may have gone overboard with these, but these are some little Velcro um, cable ties. So the idea is you connect the end of your cable in here, and then you can loop over and uh, make sure the wire's all raveled up and it's not gonna get tangled. And I have literally hundreds of cables, so this is gonna be uh, an incredible addition to all of my things. On that same theme, I've bought a case just for my cables. And this also has ways of keeping your cables kind of tied together. So I'll ravel them up and I'll be able to stick them behind these little elastic bungee things just to hold them in place. And there's a little zip pocket. And then this will kind of flat pack and hopefully that can just slip in my bag. You may have seen before, and I'll show you later, I have a kind of a power extension cord with multiple plugs in it. But it's it's been uh, slightly faulty and sparks a little bit when I'm plugging in certain places. So this seems a bit more robust, uh, but again, size-wise, this might be a bit too much for the flight. So, so check this out. This has six sockets, and these are international, so you can plug UK, Europe, and America into them. And then it has on the bottom five USB ports, including a quick charge port. Guys, this was something I found from watching YouTube videos about any lightweight follow focuses I could buy. Um, if any of you are filmmakers and you've used a follow focus before, you need an entire frame around the camera and uh, it does make pulling focus so much easier because you can just twist uh, this little um, handle on the side of the lens rather than focus like this. So when I looked into ways to make focusing easier on cameras. And I found from years ago, this guy had found this hack. So basically what you do is you put, this is a jar opener. This is a, a way of gripping a jar. So what you do is you put that around the camera lens itself, the, the focus ring, you pull this tight. And then what you have is the ability to focus in and out uh, with this kind of rubber handle on the side, which will make it a lot easier. Uh, and if you, if you look, I can go uh, fully around very easily rather than having to kind of twist my whole arm and body to keep a hold of the lens. So this is gonna be great for the cinematics, guys. Absolutely great. So external power on the trip is gonna be important because the plane doesn't have mains power. We can't mess with the electrics on the plane. Obviously, we don't want to blow anything if I'm trying to charge too many items at once. So we're gonna leave the plane electrics uh, separate and external to uh, what we're trying to do if we're charging. So as our main power source on the plane, I bought two of these Anker 26,800 milliamp hour batteries, and they have three USB outputs, including 
a quick charge output. These battery packs come with a quick charging device that in three hours can charge it up to 80% charge. And I think for a full charge, maybe takes 10 hours. So guys, after many, many hours, it's actually now dark, it's very late at night. I have managed to set all of the things out that I'm gonna be taking with me around the world. Uh, there may be some things here actually that I, I don't end up bringing, but I've laid out pretty much all of the things and I'm attempting to fit them in that bag once I've shown everything to you. So let's start over here. Most important thing for the trip is the cameras. I have an A7R2 and an A7S2, and these are the cameras which I always travel with. And I've also got these little micro muff, fluffy, um, what do you call them, dead cats. So this is for the, the audio. People always ask me, what are these little fluffy things? It's for the audio, so you don't get wind noise. Um, I have nine spare batteries, including the two in there. So I think I've got 11 batteries. So hopefully we won't run out. And then I've got these three chargers, which I was showing you I opened earlier. Uh, I've got, also got an RX100 Mark V. This is just an amazingly versatile little pocket camera. It's a good backup camera, also shoots some 4K and for five minute segments and it can do ultra slow-mo, actually even slower than the A7S. Right, these are the lenses I'm bringing. Um, let's start off here, in no particular order, just the order I've laid them out in, so let's start here. This is the Sony uh, 85mm 1.4, so this gets an incredibly shallow depth, really good low light, uh, it's quite cropped in. Apparently the best um, width uh, for focal length for portraits, then I've got a 20mm 1.4, same aperture, much, much wider. This is actually the widest lens I could find online that comes with an aperture of 1.4 and it's not a, uh, a Sony um, lens, it's a Sigma lens, but I've got a little adapter. But as you've seen before, if you watch my videos, this makes a bit of noise when it's also focusing when you're filming. Um, and then I'll go quickly through. This is the new 12 to 24. Um, it has an f-stop of four, but this is the widest lens I have and it's incredible. And then the most versatile lens, I've got the 24 to 240. This one's a bit broken. Thankfully, Sony are gonna get me a, a, a replacement to take on the flight when I get to LA, but I'm, I'm gonna make do with this in the meantime. Uh, and then the 16 to 35, I think this is, again, one of my favorites. And then moving on to some more compact lenses, but still really good is the 55 1.8 and the 28 2.0. And then this adapter here actually makes this 28 2.0 into a 22, 22 2.8. So it lengthens the, the lens. I used to shoot on this a bit when I was vlogging, but it's still a fixed focal length. Um, but yeah, this is pretty, pretty epic. And then the two lenses I'm gonna be picking up um, when I get to the States are the, the 35 1.4 and then the, the 16 to 35 2.8, which is uh, a much lower aperture to, to the current 16 to 35 I have. Anyway, lots of lens talk there. Okay, let's move on. We have a lot of SD cards here. I thought, come around this way, because I thought this was really cool, right guys? I was just sorting through all of my SD cards I had and I managed to find a two gigabyte, an eight gigabyte, a 16 gigabyte, missed, missed the four, uh, 32, 64, and also guys, look at the, the read write speed of this one's insane, 300 megabytes a second. Uh, yeah, 64, 128, and a 256 gigabyte SD card. Um, obviously won't probably be bringing the, the two or eight gigabyte SD cards with me, but I just thought it's cool to look back over time and just see how we've, uh, it, you know, how technology has advanced and still kept the same size. Like literally look at these two cards next to each other. Exact same cards size, two gigabytes. And this is over a hundred times bigger, 256 gigabytes. Um, moving on, as I showed you before, the little pocket printer, which I'm really excited about using. Uh, I've got a little case somewhere for that. Um, look, I managed to find a portable hard drive case just to keep, uh, protect it and it, it actually fits perfectly in there. So I can zip that up and keep that from uh, breaking. And then these are all the little photo, um, these are little packs of the, the photo paper. Um, right, we're moving across the table as fast as I can. So these are my Snapchat spectacles. I've actually colored in with a permanent marker to hide 
the fact that they're Snapchat spectacles because then I can do a bit more covert filming when I'm out and about. You can just click the button and now I'm filming. I'm, I'm vlogging you, Dad. Um, going on to some clips here. So this is what I, I have on my, my waist all the time and my belts and I just clip the camera there. This is a Peak Designs clip and then you can just lock it closed and that just, uh, you know, it knocks into things as you may have noticed my lenses and cameras aren't pristine condition but it's really handy just for quick release and uh, you can, you know, pick it up and shoot. And then this is really handy as well. This can clip, clips in, I actually have one each side, the Peak Design clips. And then this, uh, what you can do here is you can actually uh, clip in lenses and have them quickly accessible. So if you want to quickly, you know, switch lenses uh, on the go and you don't have to take your bag off, this is, these are pretty cool. Uh, I've got this gimbal as well. This is the, uh, the ICAN EC1, I think it is. Uh, yeah, and this holds the A7S or the A7R with most of the lenses I have uh, and keeps it really stable so we can do some really cool steady shots. Um, that's quite bulky to bring on the trip, but I think it's worth it. And that takes these cool rechargeable batteries. Um, I don't know exactly what these batteries are, but they're, they're pretty epic batteries. Um, these are two Loom Cubes. So these are the brightest little lights I've ever seen and these are USB chargeable, they're fully waterproof, you can go scuba diving with them if you want. And uh, yeah, I have two for, you know, various situations we might be in where we need some very bright lighting. Well, so moving on to my GoPro setup, I have the GoPro Karma Grip. I have three Hero 5s, uh, one with a floaty handle, and uh, this is actually a diving housing for going below. I think, I think these ones are, are waterproof. You have to make sure the little door's on, but these are waterproof down to, I think, 10 meters. But then the di dive housing, I think, is waterproof down to 40 meters, which is uh, kind of essential if you're scuba diving. And then I've got, actually even got a, a colored filter on if we, uh, we want to get some color pop, make that color pop when you're looking at coral reefs and colorful fish underwater. That's always a must. Uh, a couple of spare batteries, all the sticky mounts. Uh, we've got a dual battery charger here. And uh, these are all the different clips. I think this is a, a clip for the peak of your hat or you can use it as a little mouth grip. This was for, I, I guess, gripping onto the handlebar of a bike or a pole or something. And uh, yeah, just different things. This, this is a GoPro mount for a normal uh, camera a tripod mount. And then I've also, um, I actually stole this off my friend, but this is a really cool um, GoPro pole. And this is a really long one. So I think if you want to get those cool selfies, I don't think we're going to be able to hang out the plane with the pole, but um, there'll be situations. And also this floats. So if it does fly into the sea or something, uh, it'll be floating. So I like that. Um, what are we, where are we at now? Okay, so I've got this. I, I haven't checked with JP, but I feel like this would be really good for mounting cameras. Um, if we need to stick it on the, the window of the plane, this is like a three separate suction um, pads. And I think this would give you such a secure mount for a camera. Now, this is the, the new GoPro 360 camera. I'm not sure whether I'm even supposed to be telling you about this. I'm only one of, I think, nine people in the world that has one of these. And uh, I'm gonna be capturing 360 footage on the fly and the whole three month adventure. Uh, and yeah, uploading it to show you guys. Right, moving on. So the DJI Mavic Pro is an absolute must for the trip. All our drone shots will get on this. And um, I've got two spare batteries, all fully charged. Look how organized I am. And then I've got the multi battery charger that you can just slot in. Uh, I would totally advise if anyone's getting the Mavic Pro to get the bundle deal where you can charge up to four batteries at the same time. Right, moving on to hard drives for the trip. Now this is nowhere near enough space. Although these portable hard drives, these are Western Digital hard drives are four terabytes. This, uh, and this, to, I guess here's 12 terabytes. This will not be enough for all the footage we're gonna be capturing over the four months. These are amazing drives though, I would highly recommend them. And we are actually gonna try and get 10 of these and where we can is post a duplicate of our footage back up back to the UK or the States and we'll hold on to one copy ourselves. That is the plan. When I get to the US, I'm gonna try and get a stack of these hard drives. 
And then I'll show you this, guys. This is what I was showing you earlier. This is the two terabyte solid state drive with USB-C. And I uh, earlier actually Velcroed, uh, stuck a bit of Velcro onto my laptop. And this now I can just mount here and then I can do all my editing off this little hard drive and I can just li literally just plug him around the corner there into that little USB-C port. The, the dongle with all of the ports, the HDMI, USB, uh, Ethernet, USB-C, micro and normal size SD. This is cool. I was even wondering whether to Velcro that onto my Mac as well, but I think I'll hold off for now. So here I've got um, the RAV Power um, external battery that you can plug mains power into and it gives an output of 100 watts which will um, charge a laptop. So this is essentially like an external laptop charger. And then I have two um, 20, how, how big are these? So these are two uh, 26,800 milliamp hour batteries with a quick charge and these will be our, our main lifeline whilst flying on the plane so we're not going to have mains power. We've got the two 10 port USB charge blocks which I showed you earlier and uh, I've been carefully uh, connecting these to all my cables and neatly wrapping them up and as you can see here this is our bag of cables which at the moment I don't think I'm going to be able to close so I may need to uh, throw out even more cables or put them aside and then I've got actually another bag of cables here. So there's lots of cables but uh, necessary to charge and power all of these things here. The only other thing is my tripod was in Andy's car and he's just sent it in an Uber which should be arriving soon. That's the last piece of my kit that I need and we're going to try and pack it all into my bag. Okay guys, we did it. We packed everything into here. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to lift this, but <laughs> let's just see how heavy this is. <sighs> to be fair, it's not quite as ridiculous as I thought it'd be. Um, it is heavy, but uh, yeah. It's manageable. This bag I'm using is a new bag I got sent from my friend. Uh, his company is Pack, and I'm really impressed. I've had a few bags, and I often struggle um, with kind of getting all my things in there and it not being too uncomfortable. But this bag is pretty epic, and uh, yeah, I I would highly recommend getting one. I like all the extra little spaces. I like the fact that. I can just easily slide my laptop in and out even once the bag's kind of rammed full as you saw we were literally like pulling the zips up. I'll link the link to the Kickstarter campaign for this bag in the description and you guys can go and check it out and uh, hopefully order one of your own. And like I said earlier on as well guys, everything that I've talked about today, pretty much everything, I'm going to be linking below uh, so you can go through to Amazon or b and I've got a b and affiliate links as well and you can just click through and uh, yeah order what you want from what I've shown you today. I highly recommend everything I've got and this is going to be essential to flying around the world, capturing our journey in the most incredible way possible and getting, it to, getting to share it with you guys. So anyway, uh, we are flying out tomorrow and it's going to be uh, yeah, the, the most incredible adventure I've ever been on. I'll catch you in the morning. Peace out. Enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom.